understand why we couldn't stay on the train. You threw those guys off. Very basic strategy. If your enemies know where you are, then don't be there. Why are we enemies? Well, I know I perceived the person sent to kill me as an enemy. What does that mean? Since when am I supposed to kill anybody? I'm tired of all this cryptic bullshit. I'm physically and psychologically exhausted, Rufus, and I'm ready to kick back and welcome the end of existence. Unless you come clean right now. Why me? Out of all the people on the goddamn planet, why was I tapped? Imagine you're a 12-year-old boy. And one day you're told you're God's only son. But more than that, you're God. How long do you think it would take you to come to grips with something that huge? Maybe say, 18 years? In the Bible, Jesus suddenly goes from age 12 to 30. 12 to 30. Now that's some pretty bad storytelling. Where are the volumes of text dealing with the missing 18 years? I'll tell you where. They were offered up as a sacrifice to the god of ecumenical politics. You make it sound like there's some church conspiracy to cover up the truth about Christ. Bullshit. Any important material about Christ would give people a better understanding of the nature of God. Why would they leave any of it out? Because it's all closely tied in with his family. His mother and father. Brothers and sisters. Jesus didn't have brothers and sisters. Mary was a virgin. Mary gave birth to Christ without having known a man's touch. This is true. But she did have a husband. And do you really think he would have stayed married to her for all those years if he wasn't getting laid? The nature of God and the virgin birth, those are leaps of faith. But to believe a married couple never got down, well, that's just plain gullibility. Meaning? The blood that flows through your veins. She has a chromosome or two at the genetic level with the one you call Jesus. Bethany, you are the great, 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 great grandniece of Jesus Christ. So, that would make Bethany part black? I can't do this anymore. Bethany, where are you gonna go? You know what I'm saying is right. It's bullshit. Bethany? It's bullshit! Let it go, man. Give it time. That's why we needed you. Why didn't you tell me? Would you, could you have believed me? It was something you had to come to gradually. Only after everything you've seen, everything you've heard, could you possibly be able to accept the truth. I don't want this. It's too big. That's what Jesus said. Yeah. All right, to tell him. You can imagine how that hurt the father. Not to be able to tell the son himself, because one word from his lips would destroy the boy's frail human form. So I had to deliver the news to a scared child who wanted nothing more than to play with other children. I had to tell this little boy that he was God's only son, and it meant a life of persecution and eventual crucifixion at the hands of the very people that he'd come to enlighten and redeem. He begged me to take it all back. <laughs> As if I could. He begged me to make it all not true. And I'll let you in on something, but then it's something I've never told anyone before. If I had the power, I would have. It's unfair. It's unfair to ask a child to shoulder that responsibility, and it's unfair to ask you to do the same now. I sympathize, I do. I wish I could take it all back. But I can't. This is who you are. Everything I am has been a lie. No, 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 no. Knowing what you now know doesn't mean 
you're not who you were. You are Bethany Sloan. No one can take that away from you, not even God. All this means is a redefinition of that identity. The incorporation of this new data into who you are. Be who you've always been. Just be this as well. From time to time. Guess this means no more cheating on my taxes. To say the least. Do you mind if we adjourn to somewhere a tad more habitable and a bit warmer?